right, working on my 318 here that blew up. And I see the exhaust valve is bent on number six. As you know, it hit that. My guess is this will push down without touching anything. <laughs> I bet this one does the same. So it's got two bone rods in there. So this ought to be good when we get the pan off. And now the movies. Well, as suspected, two rods are spanked. But look at here. There's some kind of cotton sub substance that got into the oil pickup screw. Look how it sucked the metal in. So this thing had to be restricted on oil pressure. That's probably what caused, look at this. Bunch of uh, cotton in there. <laughs> you think that's any good? Oh, there's a rod bearing. Another rod. Another rod. <laughs> wow. Look how hot that got. That's what that does sound like. You know, the sad part, this is right hand and that neural special on that crank, so this hopefully I can save this crank. I don't know, it might be junk. Okay, I pried the lid off our oil pump screen. <laughs> As then we got orange poop in here. Wow. So there's your shop rag or lint towel just right in there. See, it sucked the screen right in. See, look at all the stuff that actually got around the screen. <laughs> you can't buy these screens anymore, so we gotta clean it out and fix it. So there you go. That's what blew this thing up. on our 318 here and we try to check everything and look at here we got two impeller blades stuck in each outlet like I say it through the naked eye it looks everything's fine but look how jammed up they are in there looks like they've been there for a long time so anytime you have an impeller explosion or just general maintenance it's not a bad idea to look because look how bad that's restricting the flow of water out of this engine I can't even see through it see that little itty bitty hole <laughs> so we'll knock those out of there. So this is why I test run stuff. So here, this is a new manifold that was put on in the spring. And I noticed after it came down to idle, after I broke the cam and it was missing. So I did a quick short out and found out it was cylinder two. So you can see the water dripping right out of the manifold. I'm just gonna hook my hose up, turn it on. Look at that water just pouring in out of the exhaust manifold. So <laughs> it was flood number two. When I revved it up, it didn't miss, but at low speed it did. So we'll take this end cap gasket off. Maybe something screwed up on that, but not good. All right, I took the plate off and here this gasket is breached. Right there, you can actually see the rust line where it was going in. Right there on the bottom. That's why I was filling up cylinder two, so we'll put a new end gasket in it and it should be good. Okay, I replaced this gasket. And we got good water pouring out. I just got my hose hooked directly to the manifold and you don't see anything else coming out. So we'll slide this manifold back on and retest it and back to your regular scheduled programming. Here's our 318 that threw the two rods with the uh, cotton rag stuck on the oil pump. The pump.
good. Going to 30 foot Trojan, starboard side.